Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with just sort of a vlog. So as you can tell by my voice, I'm a little sick and that's why I'm doing a vlog today instead of a regular video, just because I don't want my voice to ruin the audio. So I really do apologize for that. Despite being sick, I really do feel fine, I'm just like stuffed up a bit, so I've been doing a lot of work here in my Lego room. Starting off with this vlog over here, as you can see, this is my entire LEGO CMF collection. So I decided I was going to move my CMS from that shelf down to this shelf just so I could see them more often. So I decided I'd put them out by series and just sort of do a checklist like I've already got going there and just make sure it's updated because there were some figures missing from the checklist. So as you can see, I have no Series 1, I have Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, Series 5, Series 6, Series 7, Series 8, Series 9, Series 10, Series 11, The Lego Movie, The Simpsons, Series 12, Series 13, the Simpsons again, Series 14, as well as Series 15. I do have the last three Series 15 LEGO minifigures that I'm missing for my collection coming in the mail, so that's very exciting. That'll be my third ever minifigure series to have all 16 LEGO minifigures. I just actually completed Series 13 with a recent trade from the Brick Artist, which I filmed an opening video on that, so you'll get to see that video soon. What I now plan on doing is taking these minifigures and using my white backdrop and I'm going to take a picture of every single minifigure I have and do sort of a collection video and I'm not going to show them all together in the video because what I want to eventually do is just take a picture on the white backdrop so nothing no, nothing special sort of thing and then if I ever do get more Lego minifigures which I know I will I'll just be able to take a picture of that figure and insert it into the old video and I'll just update it every once in a while so I want everything to look the same as like a normal collection for Brick Lover 18 so say, like if you don't understand what I mean so say I have five series three series five and if I take pictures of them in a white backdrop you know put them in iMovie edit them and then two years later I keep the footage and like two years later I get some more series five all I do is set up a white backdrop take more pictures of those series five and add them to the old video footage so I continue my collection so that's really what I want to do I'm probably going to upload that to YouTube, a lot of people aren't going to find that interesting, but I just want to be able to document all the series minifigures I have. I hope that made sense, I'm kind of sick so I'm rambling. After that, I have been really working on yard sale inventory for Philly Brickfest, so I actually wasn't even planning on selling at the yard sale, but then I was looking around my leg room and realized they really had a lot of stuff to go. So as you can see here, I have like Brick Warriors, Brick Arms, and just some other Brick Lover 18, like my eggs and things like that for sale, all individually priced at 75 cents or two for a dollar and various prices, things like that. Here I have some small Brick Lover 18 custom sets where I'm actually going to be selling them for a dollar. I have some larger Brick Lover 18 custom sets, normally five dollars, selling them for three. I'll have a whole new stock of Brick Lover 18 gumball machines including the red and yellow one back in stock and the blue and white one. I just ordered those parts today and I'll be picking them up from a vendor at Philly Brick Fest, so that's cool. And then I have my custom Lego minifigures for $5. I also have 300 grams of Lego and it's exactly 300 grams. Like I weighed each bag. There are 306 total because I counted the 6 grams for the bag in the packaging here but each bag has exactly 300 grams of Lego it's all mystery so you see you do get quite a bit of Lego in there and it's only five dollars so I think that's a pretty good deal I have 19 different bags here I'm really excited I emptied that Lego bag I just had of like loose parts and things like that for two years now I'm like I might as well sell them and buy a Lego set or something like that so they're all in here and there really are a lot of pieces like five dollars is definitely a great deal I was considering putting less parts in and still charging the five dollars but I just decided, you know, 300 grams, that's more than half a pound of Lego for $5, was a good deal. I was going to do half a pound of Lego for $5, but then I remembered Bricks on the Dollar. He did half a pound plus a minifigure for $5, his, his what's in the bag. So I decided not to do that because there are no minifigures or minifigure accessories, really, I don't think, unless I'm snuck in, in these bags. They're just like Lego parts. Behind that, you definitely can tell that I've been doing some changes to the city, and really what that means is I've been getting it ready, I'm kind of staging it because I want to bring all this to Philly. I know it's hard to see, but I'm bringing this whole section, including the Ferris wheel and all these buildings, the Times Square section, all these modular buildings, as well as all this area here, and then I'm going to bring some cars and minifigures and things like that, Ooh, I hit my stool, sorry, and just kind of stage stage it up. I'm not bringing any trains, I'm not bringing the police station, I'm not bringing the office building, I'm not bringing the train station, I'm not bringing the hospital, I'm not bringing the pizza parlor. 
I'm just kind of bringing all this. I think it'll be cool. Over here, I've been doing some order packing, things like that, getting things ready to go, emptied out some lots, got some bags ready. And then down here, actually, I have a whole bunch of Lego minifigures for sale. So, they're all individually priced. I have the Canadian price and the American price. And then I have the ballerina. And I just have just a bunch of random different figures with all their names and things like that. So at the convention, if there are Canadians, they can choose to pay in Canadian dollar, but you can also choose to pay in American dollar. And at the whole booth, I will be offering multiple discounts when you buy more than one thing, things like that. Down here, I also have a bunch of like poly bags and older, smaller sealed sets and things like that. So like poly bags, again, everything's all priced with US prices, with Canadian prices, things like that getting ready to sell it all. All those things are the six month average on Bricklink. So if it sold for $5 American and it sold for $5 Canadian in the six month average, that's the price I went with. I didn't go with any exchange rates or anything like that. Just the six month averages. So I'm kind of getting ready for Philly. Really excited to go to Philly. I also plan on bringing my YouTube play button that I made. When I was talking about minifigures earlier, as you can see, I have a couple more series 15 and series four. Lego minifigures there, just some of my favorites that I purposely got duplicates of. So yeah, that's basically it. I took down a lot of the city just because I wanted to plan out for Philadelphia for it, and I'm definitely doing that. And I'm probably going to start packing it up either next weekend or the weekend after, just because things are getting really busy in my life, and I want to make sure I'm all prepared for Philadelphia. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm really sorry if I rambled a lot, again I'm not feeling the best, so I'm just talking and talking and talking, and I apologize for my stuffed up voice. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more LEGO videos as well as more vlogs when I'm sick and don't have time to make a real video. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.